How's it going, everybody? My name is Avery. Um, recently, I decided to start learning Rust a little bit. I never used it for anything, so I decided just to play around with it. And while doing so, I found this. Um, it's a game engine, basically. Uh, it's called Bevy. It's the Bevy's the Rust engine, or not the Rust engine, but it's an engine made in, in Rust for Rust. And it's one of the only engines, as far as I can tell, that are made for Rust. Um, I say it's an engine, but there's no GUI or anything like uh, Unity or anything like that. It's more like the other engines that I've showcased recently. It's uh, more of just like a library. And it supports 2D and 3D stuff. It has scenes, um, cross-platforming, it has some UI things. And for man like I said, you can manage your scenes. Um, Bevy doesn't use any sort of object-oriented design like uh, most things would or most things usually do at least. It uses the ECS, which is an Entity Component System. I guess that's right there as well. Um, the Entity Component System is basically, instead of having, let's say, an object be a scene, and then an object be an entity, and then there's an object player that comes from the entity that's placed into the scene. Um, basically, just make entities, which are just like a, an ID, an entity, doesn't represent anything and then you make components so say you have an entity for your player so your player's entity is just number one and then you have a component for walking component for jumping component for gravity and you attach all those components to that entity so that way you can reuse components for different entities throughout your game without having say an entity have a component that you're not going to actually use and then you just take these entities and throw them into your scene um, along with that they have hot reloading which basically just makes it so you can um load in your scenes faster when you make uh, small changes and whatnot. It's uh, free and open source. Um, it's all it's all free to use. There's documentation. Uh, there's like a learning documentation. Uh, the Bevy book. It goes through all the main concepts on just installing it and using it and getting used to the entity component system that Bevy has provided. So I'll have this linked in the description for you guys to check it out as well. Um, I'm slowly learning this stuff. Uh, I don't really know how much I really like this Rust language. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, I don't see uh, myself using it for too many things. I just decided I'll check it out. And I think this is a good way to learn about it using this library. Um, I still don't understand everything completely, but um, I can kind of get used to it, I guess. I don't know how to use this cargo for everything, at least. Um, but yeah, you have to have the cargo installed for running things, I guess. But um, there's also an asset page, so it has all their own features, but other people have made features that you can go and install. Like here's one example. Um, you can, it's a plugin for the LDTK map editor, or basically it makes it so that whatever map or whatever level or design that you make in the LDTK work with Bevy, and it works with the Entity Component System for Bevy. Um, so yeah, I think these are all just like side projects that other people worked on with Bevy that you can add into your own games. Um, there's a lot of examples outside of just following along with the book. There's a, a lot of examples just in the project as well. Um, you can see right here. Uh, these are all the directories for examples. There's some Android and iOS stuff, but these are libraries that are in there. They're not like an actual example as far as I can tell. But um... Here we can go into the 2D. Actually, here we'll just run the game. Um, okay, if I remember right, I believe it's cargo run examples breakout. Oh no, it's a thing singular. Okay, it might take a second to build, and here it is. There's a little breakout clone. So if you go through all the examples, you guys can read the code yourself, kind of learn about it. That's what I've been doing. To, to see not only how Bevy works, but to see how Rust works. Uh, most of the things are just a single file for everything, which makes it pretty easy uh, to understand. Um, and like I mentioned, there's some 3D stuff, so you can check that out as well. Um, 3D stuff isn't extremely robust, but it kind of has all the basic stuff that you need, um, especially for getting started. 3D scene right here, but there's not really any controls for the scene or anything. The anti-aliasing is kind of weird on these objects, and I've noticed that on some of the other 3D scenes. Um, and 
here we can load it one more. Mini cubes. But I've also noticed, I can show in a second, but I've noticed that some of these things have like a, um, I don't know, they kind of make my computer like turn up a little bit. I don't know if you can hear the fan or anything. That's not super loud, but it's noticeable to me at least. Um, yeah, so it's just a lot of cubes. But I guess some of this stuff is like stress tests, stress testing, which speaking of which, there's another stress test. It's under tools. Um, and also, like I mentioned, there's some UI stuff. So there's like some button and like scrolling and whatnot. Um, what's the tool one called? Yeah, okay. It's a, the bevy mark. It's like a, a mark or like a bench or a stress test or whatever. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's not even that high. Like there's nothing being drawn. It's 47. I don't know. I would think for like a, a mark that there wouldn't be any sort of cap or anything. So I don't know if that's a cap. But as you can see, when I draw in these things, drawn a lot, you can't really even tell there's that many, but the frame count drops a lot, which, uh, I don't know if that's a baby thing. I don't know if that's my computer thing. Uh, I guess, I don't know. My computer works with other stuff, but maybe it's my computer thing. So I would think that this thing would work fine, but I'm not positive. I know if I already did like a gopher test using like go like Abitin, it works pretty well. So I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, I just thought I would mention that. Um, I'm learning how to use all this stuff. I just thought it was kind of cool, and I thought I would show it off to everyone else that might be interested. Um, this is, it's not completely new, but it's still like a newer thing. There's not a ton of um, mass amount of documentation. I mean, they have their own documentation. There's not a ton of videos. There's some people that I've noticed that are starting to make videos on it. So I don't think there's any full tutorials out. And uh, I usually like to make tutorials based on things that I'm learning about, so just to kind of help me as well, and because other people comment on them and say things like it fix and whatnot. Uh, so maybe I'll be making something showcasing this, but this is kind of a little bit out in the future, um, showing how to do stuff. But yeah, if you guys are interested, feel free to leave a like. I have other tutorials showing other similar projects. Um, most of them are in C++. I've been doing some Go stuff recently as well. But if you guys are interested, just let me know if you guys are interested in learning more about 2D or 3D development with Bevy. And see you guys again next time. Bye.